Today I'm showing you how you can download a Lunar Client. As you can see, I'm on the website right here. You can find this somewhere near the top of the description, together actually with my Discord server. I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, here we are, and we'll just click on this blue download button right over here. Then you want to just choose your version. Um, obviously for you it's your version, however I'm on Windows, so I'm going to use the Windows one. Now as you can see my downloads, I have LunarClient.exe, this is the exact one you want, you want to double click on that and that is going to launch the setup installer. You want to click on I agree over here and then as you can see it's automatically going to start installing it. Which shouldn't take more than a minute. As you can see I'm here right now and um, you can log in with your Microsoft account if you want which I do definitely recommend, however I'm just going to continue as a guest for right now. And here we are, this is it, and it now it's just going to work um, basically the same way as the vanilla Minecraft launcher, however with a different user interface and a lot more options. The basics are, well, as you can see, we're here on our home screen right now, and we have some quick play options up the top over here. We have our version selector right over here, as well as our servers, um, which we can add to Minecraft some general news page which will open in a browser and of course a store. So on the home screen here you can either launch directly into 1.8.9 which is the standard version or click on this down arrow over here to bring you to the versions tab. Here you can select whichever version you want. Version 1.20 is the latest one so I'm going to select that for right now. You can also select some optional add-ons as you can see over here and same thing for the 1.8 versions which are widely used. You will have standard Optifine installed and you can also select to play with Forge. Anyways, once you've selected your preferred version and your preferred add-ons, you can launch the game and play Minecraft. Anyways, that was that. If this tutorial helped you out, then I'd greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe. And for right now, thank you ever so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.